Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back. So, part two, uh, we're going to manufacture our own battery cover. So I found some styrofoam in the basement. Yay! And uh, it's pretty thick pieces actually. I cut them out and uh, got an exact perfect, perfect cut. I love band saws. And uh, I still got a third chance where I can glue these two pieces together. So double layer it and then trace and cut. Now this is a little overkill on thickness I know and I could probably get away with just this. Um, I might try cutting that down just to see what the difference is going to be but I want to contour this which is why I need to really go higher anyhow and because uh, I want to get a nice contour so that it uh, does the shape of the body or the fuselage properly. So going overkill in thickness is actually a good idea in this case and you got a wider uh, area to a narrower area front and back so of course I got to trace underneath cut those angles out and I'll do all the sanding uh, with my belt sander very very carefully and uh, then do some hand sanding and then I'm gonna have to uh, find something to uh, basically spray on maybe a clear coat or something that I can lightly shoot on there so that it can hold some paint on the top surface and I'll be able to paint the uh, top cover uh, when it's all finished. But uh, this is the next stage, so uh, this is all going to be one video for this segment, so we'll be back with the uh, next step. Okay guys, I got a battery cover made. I actually did two of them, and the first one turned out absolutely beautiful. And then I had to go and try and paint it. So here's what not to do. Don't try painting styrofoam once you've opened the pores. Probably not even before, but uh, yeah, this was just regular everyday Krylon paint. And uh, now I've got a sponge. So uh, yeah, don't do that. So the other one turned out actually pretty good too. I'm uh, pretty happy with it either way. And uh, to cover this one up and to give some durability to the styrofoam, uh, my wife and I just finished uh, taking um, that wide packing tape uh, for boxes and covered the uh, new uh, cover with it and uh, then I was able to put some pressure up against the button here into the taped area because I overlapped a couple layers and pushed in really hard and made my indent and then put my hole in so now my uh, battery cover can lock down at the back. So now all we got to do is make our little lockdown tab for the front and uh, voila, we will be done. So we'll be right back. Okay guys, so here's the uh, little um, front latch I decided to put together. And uh, it's working. I got two screws in here into the styrofoam. I tried crazy gluing it at first and the crazy glue started to eat at the uh, styrofoam. So I neutralized it so that it wouldn't go any further. It just started to do a little bit at the back, so it was okay. And so anyway, I neutralized the crazy glue and decided we're going for JB Weld and this sucker ain't never coming apart. So, uh, well, not that easy anyway. So we've got that and then I just put a uh, brass bushing in the back here with some JB Weld to hold it in secure and that'll be for the locking pin. So, uh, that's our uh, cover, so we'll let that dry for a couple hours and we'll come back and uh, install it on the plane and see how it goes. Hey guys, how's it going? Well, our battery cover is all done and dry, so now it's time to see how it fits. I threw the battery into the plane because, hey, it's got to go on with the battery in there, so let's uh, do our check here. It looks like it's going to go. There's a bit of a, like a curve edge to this so I left some, enough sticking out extra. So let's pop that up in there and just squeeze that into place. And there we go. And uh, goes right into our bushing. It's all secure there. And it's uh, secure up here. Nice. So it turned out uh, actually pretty decent. It, uh, it's not absolutely perfected, perfect, but uh, it's not going to interfere with anything for flight wise. But uh, I know it's a little, little bit redneck, but 
you know, it uh, looks very similar to the original lid as far as shape goes. And uh, since I can't find parts, hey, making a lid isn't a bad idea. And uh, so now this bird is uh, ready for its flight. So I'm going to find out what our next uh, free flight day is. And uh, we're going to put this thing up in the air for you guys and see how it flies and uh, see how well I can uh, land. <laughs> anyway, all right, guys, thanks for watching. Let me know what you think of... Uh, what we've done here and uh, we'll be sure to catch you uh, on the next video. Thanks for watching.